Here we have for sale our 2017 on a 67 plate Ford Transit Connect 240. That means that this van has got a 2.4 ton gross vehicle weight. This is the L2, meaning it's long wheelbase. And this is the Trend, which is the spec, power shift, automatic panel van. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Trend uh, connect power shift of this age and um, we'll also talk you through the condition and ownership seeing as this vehicle is currently available for sale at the time of recording so starting here at the rear of this van as we always do in these videos you can see that this one has got rear barn doors what i mean by that are two doors which open in that sort of fashion looking at the condition here condition does seem to be in really good order here we're using the reflections where we can to have a look for any sort of dings or dents it's all looking in very good order there is a tiny little uh, sort of crease just there i don't know if you can see that in the camera but very minor just there under that little lip otherwise it's all looking very nice rear bumper you can see that we've got uh, parking sensors here integrated into the rear bumper to my eyes they look to be aftermarket parking sensors but i will obviously do the same job nonetheless if we open up the rear barn doors then we can start to have a look at the condition here inside the back of the van when you open up the rear doors you'll see this little yellow button just here when you push on that yellow button that allows you then to open the door right out to its 180 degree position and you can do exactly the same with the other door as well same yellow button on the other side push that and then the door opens up to 180 degrees and then this as i say gives you maximum accessibility and allows me to show you the load area correctly in the back here and you can see that the van is fully ply lined in the back this ply lining is used we didn't put this in uh, when it came into us but you can really see um, how clean and tidy this is in the back and this will of course give us a good indication of how light a use this has had from uh, day one it's nice to see the ply lining in the back of uh, on these rear doors here covering the full doors which of course gives maximum protection uh, to the back of the van all the original uh, plastic here in the back and we've also got the factory fitted bulkhead just there which of course can be removed they are just bolted in around the outside and you can also see that this one has got the load through hatch they've also uh, which i quite like to see in the ply line and they've made cutouts there for the tie down points as well so you can really use the van to its maximum capacity if we shut the rear barn doors we can then continue to go around to the passenger side having a look at the condition down here on the passenger side and again having a good look down there it's looking really really smart uh, one thing i can just notice while we're down here there is a very slight scuff to this plastic right on the edge of the uh, bumper just there uh, but all in all this is looking in fantastic condition throughout you can see on the near side here we do have the side loading door if we open up the side loading door this then gives you another aspect at the load area and this as again just gives you an indication of how clean and tidy this is looking at the step there it's all in lovely lovely order and then as i say we can have a look at this load through hatch so it's uh, currently up and you can see that it actually fixes to the bulkhead via a magnet so of course you can shut it if you want to if you want to don't if you don't want anything going through but if you've got a low a longer load length that you want to put through there you can clip that up to the bulkhead and then as you'll see there that you're actually met with the back of the seat but what you do is when you go into the front of the vehicle and there's a little red tab just up here on top of the seat give that a pull and then the seat folds down like so and then what that allows you to do is load all the way through there right into the passenger footwell of the van so it's a really neat system very easy to do you can even do it with one hand as i've just demonstrated and uh, as i say it just takes it from a relatively small van like this a connect is not the biggest van in the ford range uh, by any means and then as i say you can get a fantastic load length in there accompany that with this one being of course the long wheelbase connect that really does increase the load length even more payload in the back of these vans to give you some idea um it's between uh, 850 and 900 uh, kilos in that region of what you can actually carry in the back of here but of course that will be dependent on you know how many passengers you're carrying etc as well looking then into the front of the van here and we can start to have a look as i say at the condition here in the uh, front of the van you can see the seats are all in very good order there's no rips tears cigarette pins anything like that it certainly doesn't smell that this has been a smoker's van at all as well looking at the passenger door card there no marks or anything there. it's all in lovely lovely order actually 
and same goes with the dashboard the floor here on the passenger side uh, as I demonstrated you can uh, fold the back of that seat down but you can also pick the seat up from the base just put it on that handle just there and that gives you as I say some storage there. you can maybe put a box there if you wanted to in the middle you've got you can pull up the front uh, part of that seat just there and that gives you access then to a USB and AUX port under there as well and again some extra storage it's also a 12 volt socket just there uh, which you can access with the seat down it's just easier for me to show you that way and with this seat you can actually uh, give that a pull there and then you can fold that down as well which then gives you a little work tray somewhere to store some paperwork and a couple of cup holders just there as well so as I say lots and lots of versatility with these seats let me see if I can pull this up one second there we go a little bit more difficult with one hand operating that seat just there but condition in the front of these vans absolute well in, in, in the front of this van absolutely fantastic and lots of versatility with those passenger seats and of course the lovely thing with the connect is that you can legally carry three people in the front of these vans moving then around to the front as they being on a trend uh, you do get a color coded uh, a color coded front bumper uh, as standard on a trend you also get these trend uh, wheel trims as well uh, they are 16 inch and uh, again looking in really nice order uh, the color coded front bumper just really sets the front of the van off and you also get front fog lights as well as standard on a trend in terms of condition here at the front it's looking in fantastic condition having a good look at the bonnet of course you're going to get a few stone chips and things on the front bonnet uh, but all looking really good there's nothing really to note here which i can say look at that is uh i say it's some adverse condition having a good look again then down the driver's side and using those reflections there where available it's all looking really clean and tidy i must say it's in fantastic condition for its age and mileage this fan it must be said if we open up the driver's door then we can finally have a look at the spec that you get inside here there's plenty of spec inside we've got electric windows electric mirrors you can see that we have got two keys with the vehicle one is the full remote one is the non-remote spare looking at the driver's seat here we've got plenty of adjustability with the driver's seat so you've got height adjustability here backrest adjustability as well and again just having a good look here at the uh, the condition it's all in really good order the seat if we have a look at the floor if i move the mat out of the way you can see that the floor is in good order and you've only got two pedals down there so as i say this van is automatic which uh, is exceptionally rare we don't get many of these smaller vans in the automatic a long wheelbase connect on its own we don't get many of but uh, especially company that with uh, with automatic that is quite rare indeed looking at the onboard computer here so of course you've got um, up on this part here in the middle you can toggle through their aspects such as the range etc uh, that's where you can see the range now uh, miles per gallon those sorts of figures and just underneath that you can see the mileage there 56,406 miles and then just above that that is what uh, you look at so you know what gear you're in so uh, you're in park reverse neutral drive on you've got a sport mode there as well but you can see the van is running at the moment it's all idling correctly there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard up on top of the dashboard here is a little button just under there and that gives you a little bit more storage and a 12 volt socket up there as well the power shift automatic gearbox which is just here i mentioned all the different uh, gearbox settings just there and you can also actually manually go up and down the gears there as well if you want to that 12 volt socket just there uh, this one as well has actually got air conditioning which is a crucial bit of spec and not standard on a trend so very nice to find that indeed we've also got the heated windscreen that's the actual elements in the screen not just the blowers and then looking at the radio here we've got dab radio and you can of course also connect your phone to this via bluetooth as well so a really nice spec inside you've also got um, storage here above your head in the cab so for quite a small you know i'd say a relatively small van easy to live with easy to maneuver and park you've got some nice little options on here uh, for storage to say in the cab and also that load through hatch there which makes it feel in some ways like a, a lot bigger van so just to summarize this is a one owner from new ford transit connect 240 trend it's the long wheelbase power shift which means of, of, of course it's automatic um, 
air conditioning, rear parking sensors, uh, which wouldn't be uh, standard on this model, but you also get you know a nice spec otherwise as well, like the multifunctioning steering wheel, uh, also that nice load through hatch there, side loading door, it's a really good spec. Lovely condition throughout as I've displayed, hopefully that reflects correctly in the camera. Uh, and nice ply lining in the back as well. This van, like all of our vehicles, will be going right through our workshop before it leaves us. So that will include a full service. And if there's any less than six months MOT at the time of sale, we also put a brand new MOT on as well. So you've got full peace of mind. And of course, it will come with our own warranty, which is for three months or 5,000 miles. If you'd like to inquire, please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, starting as low as 7.9% APR, and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well. Thank you very much for watching.